Three college students and a Dutchman set sail from the shores of New York June 17th. They were headed for Holland, but not long after shoving off, their troubles began. We had the summer off, so it was no problem. You know, it was going to be an exciting adventure. With, uh, you know, it's proof time of the year to go across the Atlantic, or so they said, and uh, they were wrong. <laughs> we had different amounts of trouble throughout the way. We had a, uh, pro we went through about five storms altogether, and, and little things went wrong. It seemed like in every storm. But the fifth storm was too much to handle for the 56-foot, $470,000 yacht. The group was stranded 1,000 miles from the shores of the Azores Islands. The navigation equipment was broken, sails were ripped, the radio was down, and the boat was taking on water. The last thing I remember was the last storm that I woke up in the water. You know, I was basically coming from under the water. And that was it. That was basically the end of the trip. But at that point we realized that, you know, we weren't going to really get too much further. It was just going to rely on the help that we could get. Our radios were completely gone. You know, we had the e -perp and that basically saved us. The Coast Guard received their distress call and, as fate would have it, an oil vessel on its way to Corpus Christi from the United Kingdom was in the area. About uh, 17, 20 hours, that's about 5.20 in the afternoon, uh, the Coast Guard uh, has called uh, us for, to render assistance for a distress vessel. The crew had been shipwrecked all day, trying to stay afloat. Finally, around 8 o'clock the evening of July 1st, the Gulf Pacific, loaded with crude oil and bound to Corpus Christi, rescued the foursome and brought them to the Texas port, some 5,000 miles from their original destination. Jack Vincent, Newswatch 10. Covering all of South Texas, this is KIII TV3 Eyewitness News. The consistent number one rated newscast with Joe Gazin, Joe Diaz Weather, and Dan McReynolds Sports. Well, an oil tanker discharged an unusual cargo at the port of Corpus Christi today. Four members of a yacht crew who were picked up after Atlantic storms disabled their boat. The four are in good health, but their dreams of a pleasant summer cruise are sunk. Lee Dunkelberg of our staff was on hand to welcome the crew members and their rescuers. Oh, how are you doing? Great to be back on land. The crew was made up of three medical students looking for an exciting summer, and they got more than they bargained for. The captain and owner was fulfilling a dream to leisurely sail back to his native Holland after years of stress in New York City. His dream was crushed by the Atlantic's mighty waves. It's pretty hard because I was sailing back home with everything on it. I basically lost everything I had. The plan was to sail the 56-foot catch Alkmaar from Long Island, New York to Amsterdam. While this is supposed to be the ideal time to sail the North Atlantic, the yacht was hit by five storms. The last one ended the voyage. The waves just kept getting bigger and bigger. Then finally, uh, I was on the helm when uh, the big wave hit, and I turned around, and I knew we were in a lot of trouble just by looking at that wave. It, and it, it basically picked the boat up and crashed down on the boat, laying the boat on its port side. All our uh, electricity was gone, the uh, steering mechanism was destroyed, the uh, fuel tanks were broken open, diesel fuel was all over the place. The Alkmaar sent on an SOS to a Coast Guard satellite. In the meantime, the tanker Gulf Pacific was steaming from Scotland to Corpus Christi with a load of North Sea crude oil. When the captain received word that the Coast Guard had pinpointed the Alkmaar nearby, he immediately went to help. It's been uh, our tradition at sea, but whenever you have to go to the assistance of uh, distressed vessels, any, any distressed vessel of any type, any, any nationality. You know, that's what it is, the tradition is at sea. In about two hours, the tanker was pulling up to the stricken yacht. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I was so happy. Just came out of the, came out of the fog and suddenly it was right there. For the four crew members, a romantic sailing voyage to Europe turned into a harrowing brush with death that brought them instead to South Texas. Lee Dunkelberg, 3 Eyewitness News. South Texas, we're your station. This is 6. This is News Center 6, South Texans' number one choice for news. It was a trip they had planned for months, an adventurous trek across the seas from the East Coast to Europe. But the four men got more than they bargained for when their journey came to an unexpected end. 
Sandra Ferrero Richards has their story. It's kind of lame. <laughs> it's taken a while, three to four weeks, but we made it the hard way. But not to their original destination. After days of fighting heavy Atlantic seas, a storm bearing 40-foot waves was the final blow. The 54-foot yacht, the Alkamar, similar to this smaller one, began to sink. It nearly pole pitched, and then the boat heeled over on its side, um, taking just about everything that was on the port side of the boat off the boat, as well as the console, uh, dislodging a fuel tank. Our engine was completely submerged, broke both our booms, two of our sails ripped. So we were rendered basically helpless at that time. The four-man crew from New York started their voyage off of Long Island. They planned to stop off in Portugal, and Holland was to be the final stop. But nearly two weeks and five storms into the journey, the sailboat finally fell victim to Mother Nature on July 1st. They were about 1,000 miles northeast of Bermuda. I had just gotten off my watch, and uh, I just laid down about 15 minutes, and all of a sudden I look up and everything on its side and water is crashing into the boat. The Coast Guard spotted the men after they sent a coded signal using this emergency position indicator radio beacon. The ship Gulf Pacific on its way here to unload crude was called to the rescue. The Dutch captain of the Alkamar lost everything. It was maybe the wrong time and we were at the wrong place. That's it. You know, I don't know. We're safe and sound and that's what counts. Sandra Ferrero Richards, New Center 6.